Well, Mr. Bencini, we already tapped into the issue of AI that is the buzzword for almost everything. Whether we have a precise idea of what it is is another issue, but let's stay with the regulatory issue because this is one, unfortunately, I must sometimes say, is affiliated with the European thinking, for the European philosophy. Um, as a company which is very much at the front of tapping into new worlds, do you think that the current approach Europe has chosen in uptaking AI is the right way? Are we promoting developments or rather the contrary to... And, well, you have worked with many international companies, Google, for example, and also as a lawyer, as an attorney in international law on particularly computer science. So what is your impression over the last five years? And you might give us also an outlook to the upcoming five years of legislation. So first of all, thank you so much for having me today. It's, uh, it's really a pleasure to be with you is, uh, and also to discuss about these very important questions. So look, I think we can start from uh, the Draghi report, which says very, very clearly that in Europe uh, we have a problem and that we need to solve it. And this problem is not really about regulation, because I think regulation is playing an important part. And actually, there are some rules like the GDPR that really are important principles that Europe is exporting around the world, and we should be proud of it. The real problem is about the enforcement of regulation. This is where we should put our attention. A few months ago, we signed a letter together with other 40 companies from 40 European companies, companies like Spotify, Stellantis, mm. Prada, SAP, companies from, coming from very different uh, sectors, where we highlighted a very important point. We need the stability, we need clarity, we need uh, a clear enforcement, uh, we need the businesses in order to be successful, needs to know exactly what are the boundaries, what are the, uh, the red lines, what they can do and what they cannot do. And only with this clarity we can really um, be successful. So, Answer to your question, of course, the legislative uh, framework is something that we should have a look at, and I think the Commission is going in the right direction with the, um, Commissioner Dombrovsky is looking into simplification, looking how to streamline the rules, but we don't have to f uh, absolutely forget that a clear and uh, very important uh, touch point for every business in Europe is the enforcement of the rules. And in particular, if we have the time, we, we would love, love to, to give you an example, a clear example. The enforcement of privacy rules is something that we should actually look into. Because of course, we have uh, the single market. Of course, we, uh, you know, companies that are acting across different countries have um, a regulator uh, that is uh, from the country of origin. But because of uh, the whole uh, system that we, which requires, in most of the cases, also the intervention of the data protection authorities, there is really the risk that the processes become lengthy and with lack of accountability. And this is something that uh, is highlighted in the Draghi report, it is something that Europe should look into. With your colleague, uh, we already touched upon that issue of ecosystems, uh, creating an environment which is suitable. You mentioned regulatory issues, uh, but there is definitely much more. If you would have a cauldron of ingredients, uh, what would you put in? Uh, what's being back to the drawing board to some extent of the European design? This is a great question. And by the way, we are coming from uh, the perspective of a company like Meta, which makes of partnership a very important, uh, uh, very important strategy in the way we are approaching to technology, AI, and more in general, this transition towards like a, a new paradigm shift in, in the way technology will interact with humans. I want to give you an example. The partnership that you have in place with Luxottica is something that we are very proud of. It is something that is putting together a technology company like Meta, which is looking into AI as the technology of the future, and a traditional, in brackets, company like Essilor Luxottica, which makes glasses. But actually, by the combination of the technology plus a great European company with an incredible value proposition, what you can build is really the platforms of the future. To say, to use Mark, Mark Zuckerberg's words, our, our, our CEO and founders, he thinks that Luxottica, Essilor Luxottica, could become from Italy what Samsung is for Korea. And he also thinks, Mark, that in the future we are going to have as a technological platform not phones, not computers, but glasses. And here you can really see how the collaboration between European companies and technology companies from, from of course, from US, where we, this is like a very strong part of the industry, can really create a 
positive synergy and growth ecosystem. Like to, to say in a different way, there are a lot of discussion about Europe lagging behind, and of course there are all the reasons that you can find in the drag in the letter report, but there is also the need for a, a partnership for European companies to look at their strength and see what kind of, um, what kind of collaboration they can put in place. That's exactly the point I wanted to mention, because not following other models, I think, tapping into the strengths of European economy, which is different. You mentioned the, the Italian ecosystem. We could mention here in Flanders or in, in Germany. I think that is the unique advantage, uh, which we are do not sell very well, I think, also in our global debate on competitiveness. This is something I, which I often miss in the debate, uh, tapping into the specific European approaches. And that leads me to my last question. Uh, indeed, uh, the international landscape of AI is fastly evolving with competing models, the US, China, Europe is often mentioned. Um, and we cannot avoid, of course, to talk about some risks, be it political ones, economic ones. If you would mention three issues which you are most concerned and which might need some further regulations. Uh, I think youth is absolutely on top of our uh, mind. We really think that uh, uh, in order to really be effective uh, as an industry player in the field of, uh, of uh, protecting families and, and youth, it's very important to set a clear mandatory uh, set of rules for age verification and make sure that uh, the age verification is actually happening at where it's more easy for the parents to interact with the, the phone or with the, the devices, like for example, uh, operating system level or at app store level by providing uh, the uh, possibility for parents and, 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 and their kids to identify themselves mm -hmm. at this level and then giving the possibility for, uh, for companies like Meta to offer control system to, uh, to parents in order to make sure that they can have um, uh, like a meaningful experience, uh, give a meaningful experience to their kids on the phone, that could be a solution. But another, another area, going back to the regulation, mm -hmm. which I think is very, very important, is looking in, into AI to avoid the same mistake that we are seeing happening in the enforcement of privacy. So when we look at the work that the AI office will do in the future, here I really think that there could be the risk that if we don't do this right in terms of clear enforcement rules, clear accountability and uh, um, stability in the way AI of the AI Act is enforced by the AI office, we could have uh, some issues. So I will, I will mention these two areas. Well, topics to be discussed, to follow it upon um, the new commission, the window we are seeing over the next months and weeks are uh, important, absolutely. I would like to thank you very much for these insights enough stuff to catch up and so we will continue with thank this. you for having thank me thank you very much <laughs> thank you